it's time. Um, it's 7.47, I have to be there around 8.30. Oh my God, don't look at my laundry. Um, I'm a little nervous, so I'm gonna take some anxiety meds, but I think I'll be okay for sure. Um, and I have to wear cold stuff because they said the operating room is cold and I guess I can't give me a blanket. And um, I decided not to ask them to film the procedure because I feel like it's too much. I don't want to bother them. And it's going to be a quick procedure, so it's all the exams, I think, before and after. That takes a long time. So, yeah. Hey dudes, um, I was definitely going to film a post LASIK, uh, a post LASIK journey thing, but I did not like how I filmed it, and uh, I don't like the lighting and everything. So we're gonna do it today. We're gonna finish it today. Um, I'm on my way to my nail appointment, but you know, I I gotta finish my face first. Um. It's raining, but it's okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. I mean, not blush, bronzing. Just a little bit. I just blow dried my hair and it's raining outside really bad. That's always nice. I did like a purple look today, but I didn't, I didn't have time to put my lashes on. I don't have mascara on. I'm a mess. But that's how it is sometimes, and that's okay. Um, I'm not going to take you guys in to my nail appointment, just because I think it's going to be too much. It's going to be busy in there. Um, but after... I definitely will sit down in the car and just talk about what happened during my procedure. I'm like two months post-op now, which I think is a good time to talk about like my experience and what happened because I feel like I'm definitely almost all of the way healed. Like I would say like maybe 85%. And I say 85 because uh, my vision was really, really bad. And my doctor said that if you're vision is really bad when you get LASIK um, it's possible that it takes you about like two to three months to recover all the way versus like other people I hope the rain is kind of soothing um, in this video and not annoying you know like an ambiance I'm gonna do blush. Oh, blush. Blush, 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 blush. You can't even see the colors that I have on in my face right now because of the lighting. It's okay. This is not a makeup video. I thought about making um, like a get ready with me when I was doing this this morning, but um, I definitely did not because I was rushing so bad and my anxiety was really bad. So I was kind of all over the place when I was doing my makeup this morning. So that's why I did not do one. And I'm just gonna kind of flick it at the edge of our face to melt it all together. Make sure. It looks nice and natural, kind of all over. Bam, bam. Bacon in the ham. Is that what people say? All right, Denzo. Hello, dudes. Um, <clears throat> I've been trying to film my post-op LASIK um, journey multiple times now. But every time I get to filming, something happens. So y'all are just gonna have to do with me doing my makeup while I talk about my um, LASIK eye surgery. <clears throat> it's raining, so if y'all hear some raindrops, drop tops, it is what it is. Um, 
so I'm about um, a month and a half um, post LASIK eye appointment, LASIK eye surgery. <clears throat> I already had my um, one month um, checkup, I think a couple weeks ago. And um, so I really wanted to sit down and talk about how it was for me, my experience. And I planned on filming like right when I got home after surgery, but it was literally impossible. I was in so much pain. Let me close my door because my dog just got in here. So as I was saying, um, so I had my surgery. I woke up early. I think I have some footage from that day. Um, it was kind of sporadic though because I was really nervous and it's like my first vlog. So it's not that good. So sorry. Um, that's my laundry. Just don't pay attention to that. Um, so I got to my doctor's, my surgery. Um, and... I signed in, checked in, and then a doctor or optometrist went and saw me. Um, she checked my eyes one last time before surgery. Um, she, I guess she like checked if everything was the same, no changes in vision. And then um, the longest part of it was really just sitting in the lobby and waiting for my turn. Um, I think I waited like an hour which kind of sucks i just literally just sat there for an hour like doing nothing and then i got called back in and um i went into this little room and spoke with the doctor and they gave me a nyquil pill to take as well as um another pill i don't remember what it was it's probably an antibiotic <clears throat> and then um they put two drops in my eyes an antibiotic and something else and then he took me back to the um, room where I'm getting my surgery done and it's so cold. And it was just him and like two assistants and he was blasting music. He was blasting, what was it? Um, he was playing Get Low the entire time. So that was a little comforting because it was kind of scary. And then so they got me ready. Um, they laid me down on one machine and uh they taped off one eye and then they put the machine over this eye i think was it this one first yes it was this one first and then um they put the machine over my eye and this one it the way that i kind of saw it in other videos was that it has like a little tip on the end like a rubber or silicone tip and it just kind of goes in your eye but they they put like a little small clamp in your eye first and it has like a tiny little thing that like fits your pupil is it pupil or iris like the entire colored part of your eye and it's like i wish i had my eyelash curler to show you but it's a clamp it was clear and it like just focuses on like the colored part of your eyes and <clears throat> And then the machine goes like into the circle part in the middle of it and it, i think it just like suctions it and like creates like a perforation for your eye or something and um that part they said that you will lose like your field of vision because it's putting pressure in your eye my nose is running oh my goodness um so it starts going into my eye right and it's like getting closer and closer and then i did lose like vision it, it went all black and this one's taped off right and it just felt like somebody was putting their elbow into my eye and i was like freaking out a little bit because it was out it was just such a weird feeling and i was freaking out a little bit so yeah i just felt like somebody was pushing their elbow into my eye and it lasted for like maybe 15 20 seconds and then they took it out, took it off, taped this one eye, and then, you know, opened this one and did the same thing. And by that time, my <clears throat> my vision was really blurry afterwards. And um, they picked me up, they put me into the next machine, and that one was the actual lasing, laser LASIK machine. And so he lays me down, tapes this one eye, and then there's another clamp, but it's not so small. It's uh, more comfortable this time to just keep the eyelids open and then the machine goes over my eye 
and I think he like <clears throat> I think he put another like thing of drops in there and then I think he like swapped it with something to dry it up I don't know and then he, I could like <laughs> I could see his little like tweezer thingies and he like moved the flap around uh, it was such a surreal feeling to like see in oh so he like moved the flap around <laughs> I think he flipped I don't know I don't know but um, the machine starts and you have to look at this green light in the middle and if you blink the machine like you know knows that you, it's gonna like it knows if you're gonna blink and it's gonna stop and it tracks like your I don't know, it tracks something in your eye to make sure nothing gets messed up. And um, so the laser starts working to like reshape your cornea and it smelled like burnt hair. And it only took maybe like 8 to 10 seconds for the machine to do the LASIK laser, whatever it has to do. And then it was done. Took the clamps off, tape. Well, I don't think. Did they tape my eye closed? I think they just made me close my eye. I don't know. I can't really remember. And then they did the other eye. And they stood me up and I could see a little bit clearer. Like it was still blurry, but it, it was like kind of clear. And then he sat me down and checked my eyes. And then he said, you know, I hope that it heals well and everything. And then they walked me out, you know, with the sunglasses and my post care bag or whatever. And I go, I go to my car. And um, for like a minute, my vision was so clear, no problems. And then on the way home, my eyes started getting more sensitive to the light and like I started getting a headache. So I like really had to keep the sunglasses on and like hide my face away from the sun. And they gave me another NyQuil pill so it would help me sleep. So I took that one. I got home and um, I believe I started with the anti, what was it, the antibacterial drops, was it that one, something like that, I had antibacterial drops, I don't even know if that's the right thing, and like regular liquid tear saline drops, so I put in the first one, and then you wait like five minutes, and then you do the saline ones, and then, um, uh, I laid down so you're supposed to lay down for a minimum of four hours the first day of your surgery so I try to do that and you have to keep your sunglasses on I have seen with other videos and other places online it totally depends on your provider and how they want to like instruct you post uh, surgery wise some people had to wear sunglasses for like a whole week but I didn't so it just they just told me to wear it inside the whole day and outside the whole day. And so I did that. I tried to lay down. Um, it started getting really bad though. Like I felt the NyQuil pill kind of making me a little bit sleepy. But because I had such a terrible headache, I couldn't sleep. And then my eyes started burning so bad. My eyes were just like flowing with tears uncontrollably couldn't stop it so i felt like i was crying but i wasn't crying and i started getting more frustrated and annoyed because i felt like i was crying but i wasn't sad and i was in so much pain and it wouldn't stop so i just laid down tried to go to sleep but it did not work um so i kind of just laid there with my eyes closed but my <laughs> eyes were still like gushing out water so I just kind of laid there in pain. I think I got maybe like 20 minutes worth of sleep or napping. And then um, after five hours, I was just like, okay, whatever. I'll just get up because the burning kind of started going away, but my eyes were still um, really wet. And then after you've rested your eyes, um, you're supposed to do, at least my doctor said to put the first drops in, I think. Uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and before bed. And then the saline drops every five minutes. But you have to wait, like, I think you have to wait five minutes in between those drops. And then for the saline ones, I have to put them in every five minutes that my eyes are open. So that was the first day. I was gonna wipe my nose with that. <laughs> and then the second day, I just had to do um, the first drops, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then the saline drops, um, I think it was every 10 minutes 
I want to say. And the next day, literally, I went to work. Um, I wore my sunglasses when I was outside, but I didn't have to wear it inside. Um, I had a lot of like training I had to do for work, and I was sitting in front of a computer all day. So I actually had to wear my sunglasses because I was starting to get a headache from all the lights. So I just wore it inside at my work for like a week. And then I would do the drops. And then after the um, first day, I had to go back and be seen just to check on my eyes. So I had my um, day two checkup and they checked my eyes and they said it's doing well. Um, the only thing that I noticed right after surgery was that um, besides my vision being pretty clear, whenever we would watch something on TV and we had the captions on, it looked like the lettering on the captions had like a white faded box around it. And when I would go outside at night and I would see like lights, um, there was like a huge halo on um, the street lights. And it, it was so strong that I couldn't look at them and like I'd get a headache. Um, and then after a week, I would still... No, after a week, I didn't have to do the antibacterial, I think. Am I... Is that even the right word I'm looking for? Anyway, so I didn't have to do those drops anymore. But I would just have to do the saline drops every 30 minutes, I believe. Is it every 30 minutes? Yeah. And then after the second week, I could just start using the drops whenever I needed. So right now, I'm a month and a half post-op. So, um... Without getting into too much of it, I just use the drops whenever I need to, whenever my eyes get a little bit dry. But um, back to the second week, um, the only things that I noticed was that my vision was amazing. It felt like I was seeing with contacts in my eyes. Um, the only complaint I had was the big halos around like lights at night. Um, the things with the captions on TV started going away like the second week. I don't, I didn't really see it a lot anymore. But when I was driving the week of and the second week, like at night, because I leave at like six o'clock at my house and it was still dark, um, at six in the morning, and it was a little hard to drive. And I like tried to put sunglasses on, even though it was like really early in the morning. Um, it, it would give me a little bit of a headache, but not too bad. But I think that started going away like the third week or the second week it didn't, it wasn't so bad and the third week it was gone. Um, but throughout the weeks, I noticed that my left eye was a lot more blurry than my right eye. So I talked to my doctor about it and they said that because I was a um, left eye dominant, which I didn't, I thought I was right eye dominant, they said because, um, I was left eye dominant, that could be why um, my vision is a little bit more blurry on this side. But um, yeah, and then no other issues really, like the third and fourth week coming up to a month, um, I didn't notice that my eyes were drier than usual, um, they weren't gritty, like it just felt really dry and gritty the first and second week and then it started gradually going away and then I had my one month post-op and she checked my eyes she said I'm doing well and they did get me to a 2020 vision oh my goodness I just ate I'm so sorry so I'm at 2020 vision your girl's eyes are perfect um but because I had such a strong prescription or bad eyesight um it it's gonna take me about two to three months to heal with some people it takes them like a month but to me I still had a little bit of that blurriness right now at this moment I don't I have no problems nothing is blurry no not neither eye is more blurry than the other I might have like slight haloing still at night when it comes to lights but that's it There's no problems whatsoever but that one, the one month post-op, she did tell me that um, because my eyesight was so bad, I would probably take longer to heal. So yeah, um, there are no problems with these eyes. And I'm so glad that I did it. I'm so grateful. And I wish that I did it a lot earlier. Like, I don't know. 
I feel like it's just a very scary commitment, but it's so worth it because now I just wake up and I can see um, like I think like the first few weeks sometimes I would wake up and like reach for my glasses and I'd be like oh wait I don't need them or when I would like get into bed I would like start getting up to take the contacts out but there's nothing to take out no but yeah I really I really um love it like it's perfect so that's all I had to say about the makeup thing. I'm gonna move you over so we can do some makeup. I think I think I'm gonna end the vlog now because I wanna talk about another thing that I did. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um I hope I gave you some helpful uh insights into LASIK eye surgery. Um yeah, definitely look around your area to see if you have any good deals with any um, doctors, clinics, it's definitely worth it, I think. So, yeah, we're gonna end this one right now because I think I went over everything that I wanted to talk about and now we're gonna go into something else and it'll be more of a get ready with me makeup video and this one is kind of like a vlog-ish even though it's like two months late almost but like I said, every time I film something or would start filming my post op talk, it just something would always happen. Like we'd have to go somewhere. Anyways, that's it. Thank you for listening to my LASIK surgery journey, and um, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Bye.